Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I'm using the new, new camera now, so the Sony ZV-1, the black version, and I think I might have solved the shakiness situation because I turned on the steady shot to active before it was standard, um, which I liked a little bit better because it gave a slightly wider field of view. But if I turn the steady shot to active, um, it, it just does a little bit better for the stabilization, although it does crop in a little bit more. And then after thinking about it, I realized field of view is not that big of a deal, especially if I'm just talking to you guys. It's not like you need to really see like what's happening all the way over here. Anyway, let me know if you see a difference. Chloe is napping right now and I spent the morning, not the whole morning, but most of the morning wiping the uh, balls for her ball pit. I kept calling it a bouncy house just because it kind of reminds me of it, but let's just call it like a ball pit tent. This is my outfit today, so I decided to switch it up a little bit for you guys and not wear my Glossier sweater, although I do miss it. Um, this sweater is from Uniqlo and my pants are actually from Uniqlo also. I'm going to put you guys down somewhere while I put together uh, Chloe's ball pit tent because she's gonna be waking up from her nap in a little bit and I want her to be able to play with it. So these are all of the balls. I think there's something like 200 of them and they're a pretty good size actually. So they're not too big and they're not heavy. They're pretty light. So Chloe can handle them pretty well and yeah, it's not like she's gonna choke on them. She does enjoy biting on them. I gave her one yesterday just to see if it would fit in her hand and yeah, her immediate first reaction was to gnaw on it. currently packing up the white Sony ZV-1 because I have to return it. Um, I don't have a printer at home anymore, so I have to, usually the bow will print stuff off, off for me while, when he's at work, but he's actually not going to work till Friday this week, and I need to send this out before then, so I gotta go to Staples. I might do that after dinner tonight. I do really like the, the white version, but yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Is this the weirdest angle of the vlog so far? Luckily, there's not a lot of stuff that came in this box, so <laughs> it's not a hard process to put everything back together. That's it. Okay, we're gonna make dinner now before we have to put Chloe down for bed just so it's ready. The bow is gonna do some errands today, so we're gonna try to make dinner a little bit early. Um, we're gonna make fried noodles with shrimp, and it's kind of like my speciality. Hi. Hi. She's like, how can I reach this with my mouth? <laughs> yeah, Chloe has a thing for drawstrings for whatever reason. Careful. Careful. 
Anyway, I've gotten um, some suggestions to show more of the cooking. So I'll show you guys how I make this dish. It is incredibly easy and it's kind of one of our go-to meals just because one, it's delicious, two, it's easy, and three, there's usually some leftover, so there's food the next day for leftovers. Okay, these are the noodles that we usually use. They're the Hakka noodles. And we use, usually use a whole package because like I said, we'll just um, save whatever's left over. Obviously it's fried noodles, so well, step one, you need noodles. We've actually also tried this uh, dish with just spaghetti noodles and it works out fine. Um, also some sort of vegetable. We are doing the Chinese broccoli today. We've also done this usually with um, regular broccoli or bok choy. Um, what else have we tried this Green with? Green beans also. So any kind of veg that you want, eggs. Um, you can also use quail eggs. We're just gonna use um, these eggs and scramble them and then just cut them up. For sauce, and I use the term sauce um, <laughs> loosely, it's more like seasoning, I guess. Um, we have light soy sauce and then also this oyster sauce. And then also shrimp. Um, we've done shrimp. Um, have we done anything else other than shrimp? Chicken, maybe? Or, oh, beef, we did beef once. Um, so any kind of other protein that you wanna use. We're just thawing this, that's why it's in the sink and water. So we usually cook things in stages and it's really easy. Um, we'll do eggs first, then we usually have the veg going at the same time, and then we'll be doing the noodles and then it all just kinda comes together in one pot. Okay, we have a few things going on right now. So I'm boiling two pots of water. One is for the noodles because we just basically blanch it for a minute um, and then set it aside. Another pot for the veg that we have to um, boil a little bit so it softens. And then this is for the eggs. So I like to cook the eggs in this like tiny little cookie skillet. It's not actually a cookie skillet. It's like a cast iron pan, like a mini, mini cast iron pan. I like it because one, it makes the eggs like nice and fluffy. Um, so I do two scrambled eggs, um, two, I guess two batches, two scrambled eggs each. We cut up the veggies and we're just gonna drop them in some water and let it um, soften a little bit and then drain it and then just set it aside for when we put everything together. Okay, so while everything else is um, cooking, I'm gonna cut this up. So as you can see, it's just like one thick omelet. And I'm going to use Chloe's food scissors. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut them up into like little cubes. This is where I cook the shrimp. So I just had to peel these because the shrimp that we get does not come peeled. It comes with all of the shells still on. So yeah, just make sure you peel it if you do use shrimp. So with everything pretty much prepared, it's time to put everything together. So I'm going to put the noodles in the pan first, the same pan I cooked the shrimp in, and try to make them as crispy as possible because that's the bow's preference. It never works out that way though, they end up being soft. And then I just add kind of everything back in slowly and also the sauce.
Okay, this is how the finished product looks with everything mixed in. The noodles are um, not quite as soft as they usually are, but they're still pretty soft. They're not crispy. What are our thoughts? It looks good. It looks pretty good. I just finished dinner. It was great. We still have quite a bit left over actually, so we have some for lunch tomorrow, but I got a late Canada Post delivery and I want to share it with you guys. So during regular, I don't know, regular days when it's not COVID and it's not the holiday season, Canada Post usually delivers to my house before noon. This arrived at like five o'clock. So they must be running behind and they must have tons of parcels to deliver. So I really feel for um, Canada Post workers, especially during the holiday season. Anyway, it's from Lover's Tempo. I think I've mentioned this on my Instagram. I think, I don't know if I mentioned in a video, but I discovered Lover's Tempo. They're a great Canadian small business um, based out of British Columbia, not sponsored. I bought this with my own money, um, but I was in Collingwood, I think in the beginning of September with my mom and Chloe. And uh, Chloe and I were just perusing the shops and there's a, a boutique in Collingwood called Metra Fashion House. And they have very cute clothing. I actually bought a dress from there. It's this um, long floral short sleeve dress that I actually wore probably in a vlog. I saw this brand on their like jewelry ta table and I really liked a couple of pieces that I saw in store, but then I Googled the brand and I saw that they had even more pieces and there was one piece in particular that I really liked, but they only had, the, had it in silver in the store and I wanted it in gold. So I went online to see if they had it, found out it was a Canadian company and they're based out of British Columbia. And then I placed my first order and I love the first two pieces that I got. So I've been kind of just keeping an eye on them on Instagram to see what new things that they come out with and I picked up some things because I don't know if the sale is still going on but they have this like buy two get one free promo going on so buy two get one free. The reason I placed the order is because on Instagram I saw that they came out with these um, convertible glasses slash mask chain. You guys know I love a good mask chain because it's convenient. They do have quite a few different um, styles of the chain. I got one for myself and then I actually picked up one for my mom. So I'll show you the one that I got for myself first. So they're convertible because they have the little rubbery part that you can put on glasses if you are a glasses wearer. This one, I think it's called Tortoise. Tortoise. It's just like this plastic chain. It's very, very light, which I love. And it um, has obviously the clasp to go over your mask. And then also this part for your glasses. Um, the lobster clasp is quite a bit smaller than the one I got from Etsy that I actually really like. Um, but I do like the clasp on this because the other one that I got from Etsy that I don't like, the one with the pearl, even though it has a small clasp like this, um, the clasp I just feel like is sticky also. So it's so hard and awkward to like get the mask loop through it. Um, but this one actually feels pretty good. Okay, I got a mask so we can just try this out. This is um, the Aritzia mask. I made the mistake of putting this through the dryer and it's just kind of a crumpled mess. But <laughs> let's just try this out. On a side note, I just switched on the product showcase feature um, on the camera, on the Sony camera, which basically turns off like the face detection continuous autofocus and um, allows you to like focus on like objects that you might hold up, which is perfect for right now because I'm trying to show you guys something. So this is a little clasp. Yeah, it's actually really easy to um, attach. I do prefer a bigger lobster clasp, but this one actually is working out quite nicely. Perfect. Yeah, ooh, I like this. I like this because it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything. Okay, let me show you the one that I got for my mom quickly. It is called the Charlie Boyfriend convertible glasses slash mask chain in gold. 
and it's very pretty. They're just these like wide links. They almost look like paperclip links, but very pretty. Also relatively lightweight and again, just convertible. So it has like the clasp and then the one for your glasses. I don't remember how much this one was. I think it was maybe $35. And I think the tortoise one was less than $30. I don't remember, but I'll link the website below in case you are interested and also if that promo is still on, why not, right? The third thing that I picked up because like I said, you buy two and then you get one free. Um, this one wasn't the free one though. I think the free one was the tortoise chain. So that one's probably the least expensive. This is called the Sloan necklace and it's just like this beautiful gold rope chain. These are not solid gold. They are gold plated. But the pieces that I picked up initially, I've had them since the beginning of September and they still look beautiful. What I do is I keep them in the Ziploc and then I usually keep them away from sunlight and uh, air so that they don't oxidize or anything. I also usually give them a little bit of a wipe before I put them away, um, just, to, just to get like any of the oils from like my skin off of them before I store them. And yeah, they still look really great. Obviously, I've only had them for three months, so I can't really tell you how long they're gonna last, but they're really cute pieces. And I usually mix and match, so I usually wear like a, a piece like this, like a gold plated piece like this with a solid gold. Um, and yeah, I, I like how it looks. So this is the Sloan necklace, very pretty. This one actually has like quite a bit of a weighty feel to it, um, which I like. So I am excited for these pieces. I have so many uh, parcels that are supposed to be delivered. I have, I think, three Glossier orders. One act technically isn't for me, it's a gift. And then I have my Apple phone case that's supposed to be coming. One of the suggestions for Vlogmas was hauls. So we have some hauls to look forward to, at least some Glossier hauls, because I did pick up a few things during the Black Friday sale. Oh, and also they have a new sweater. It's red, it's a holiday themed sweater. And I picked one up because man, I just couldn't resist. Should we give out a holiday sweater as a Vlogmas giveaway? I think we should. Can we also talk about how sweet this handwritten note is from Lover's Tempo? They also had a handwritten note in my first order too. I think this is just a thing that they do and it's so sweet. The Beau is back from his adventure. I think he went to Costco and the dollar store. Um, oh, he also went to print the um, return label for the camera because I didn't get around to doing that. So he actually went to the office and printed it off for me. Um, should we do another haul and see what he got? It looks like he picked up um, this set of the Terra Delis Delisa. Delisa. These are olive oils, actually. Um, we are obsessed with olive oil. It's all essentially all we use now to cook. But this is infused organic extra virgin olive oil. So I guess each one is infused with a different ingredient. So lemon, garlic, rosemary, and red pepper. So apparently the bow got five of these um, for I think his other co-workers and some of the people that um, directly report to him. Okay, the other noteworthy thing is the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. Um, we actually really like this. This has um, skin on the side. Um, the bow makes it really well and he makes like the skin pretty crispy, but very good. Recommend. Also, we got Charmin, which is my favorite toilet paper. This is the Bose receipt. I have to know, has anyone ever left Costco without spending at least $100? Okay, last Costco purchase is kind of what um, drew up the bill, but we got new pots and they're the Kirkland uh, brand. They had really good reviews online actually. Was it cheaper in store? $5 cheaper. Oh, $5 cheaper in the store. Um, but I mentioned that we got a new range and we did go with the induction and it's supposed to be delivered within like four to seven days, but we haven't heard anything yet. And the thing about induction is you need to have, well, not special cookware, but magnetic cookware. So steel, any type of metal that's actually magnetic for it to actually work. Um, so yeah, this is what we're gonna be using. So right here it says induction capable. It's 
So yeah, very exciting. I had to put my hair up because it is looking greasy, um, but it's time to do our advent calendar. Okay, we're looking for day nine. Ooh, what does it say? We're making a list eating it twice. Okay, so that is it for today's Vlogmas video. Um, tomorrow will probably be the Q&A. So if you are interested in hearing the rest of the answers to the other half of the questions, then stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday and I will see you in my next video. Bye.